I was sitting at the fire, on home leave with my dearest family. My baby girl babbled in my arms, playing with a wooden battleship. The warm glow of the hearth cascaded over the room, bathing the armchair in a soft orange hue. A small clatter resonated from the chimney above. Suddenly, the fire sputtered angrily as if poked by an angry dragon. Soot began to fall out of the chimney, soiling my once pristine uniform. I sat Anna down gently and approached the sputtering flames. As my hand reached for the poker, there was a savage explosion. It leached the oxygen out of the room, renting a hole through reality. It tore the world apart. Ow! My head throbbed. There was a pulsating sensation in the back of my skull, pounding away at my brain. My uniform was blasted through with holes, and there were ugly scars where piercing embers had taken hold. I groped for the back of my head, and my hand came away, matted with blood. What? I stumbled to my feet in a panic, the sweat and smoke forcing tears from my blackened eyes. I beheld the terrifying spectacle of the house in flames, fire roaring from every orifice. Smoke as dark as hell forced its way through the windows, and adrenaline started to pump throughout my blood. Every step was pure agony. Gritting my teeth with effort, I tried to force my way past the thick oak door, to no avail. The metal engravings had fused with the doorframe from the heat of the flames. My hands blindly searching for a handle through searing pain, blisters rising out of nowhere. The roof suddenly began to creak, the structural beams underneath failing as vicious fire gutted the house from the inside out. As I gasped for air, the smoke overwhelmed me. I sputtered, clutching my chest as my lungs burned. A final beam gave out, and the roof collapsed into the house with a horrid groan. Embers flew haphazardly as shattered glass panes blew out from the force of the impact. I was forced off my feet, landing hard on my back. I had failed them when they needed me most. A fire brigade urgently pulled up, tires squealing as men rushed to get the hoses out. A primal desperation took me over as my brain screamed amidst the fog of death. My hands clawed at the dirt and glass particles, blood streaming from the ruined blisters. Anna! Edward! Emily! My fuzzy vision could barely compensate for the fumes as firefighters had to restrain me in my feeble attempts to get back in. Finally, out of exhaustion, I collapsed as the world went dark. I woke up in a hospital bed, cocooned in bandages like an Egyptian mummy. My right eye is still seared with pain and I grimaced silently. The fire chief was waiting. I grasped his hand and prayed. A tear slid down his ashen cheek as he shook his head. Tell me, what happened? His man gathered at my bedside and started to murmur. My men suspect sabotage. The chimney's suit deposits had footsteps. A hollowed out device. Seemingly some sort of pipe bomb was discovered in the fireplace. Critical joints in the wooden lattice were loose. We know nothing more of the intruders. He bowed his head in condolence. I snickered in a bit of insane annoyance, my mind running rampant due to pain. It's a pipe bomb. He waited patiently. Your family were found. They were given a burial with full honors. Now onto the details of the bomb. It was labeled in German and English. The fuse looked suspiciously like a naval shells, as some sort of proximity fused explosive. We regret to inform you as well that the dinner plaza has been bombed as well and eight men in critical condition. They left me to think, soiled clothing, leaving curtains of ash on the floor. Six months later. I am now the commanding admiral of my navy. Restricted as I am now, I can still keep an eye on things. The head of army staff was quickly replaced by one of my loyal followers. With both of us being wheelchair bound for the moment, the highest security is imperative for our well-being. However, populace is undivided. The Austro-Hungarian people cry out for blood. Their biggest mistake was leaving me alive. 
my enemies will burn in the same fire which consumed my family. I will show them what an inferno truly means. Bonfires like angry hands grasping a smoky sky pitted with screams. The oceans will be filled with oil slicks as the crew inside burn to a crisp, their lungs searing with retribution. The petty politicians do not see the vengeance boiling within my mangled frame. Europe's embers of war are glowing. It is only a matter of time until the continent will burst into flame. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to a new campaign. I hope you enjoyed that intro. Beautiful writing by Matthew. Um, I can't write nearly as well as that, so all the credit goes to him. Now, as for the campaign settings, Austria-Hungary is what we're playing, and I'm not going to be going with the Legendary Difficulty AI. Why? Well, if you give the AI Legendary Difficulty, the AI, as the tooltip says, has a slight income bonus. Slight. I've seen the British field massive ships, massive warships, massive navies, and it just makes the game unplayable. Because you're going to be facing these about 100 ship navies. It just doesn't work. So I'm going to go with a normal difficulty, AI historical components, or opponents, and in 1910, I'm going to be having an auto-generated fleet. So it's not like I'll be able to craft all my ships myself. I'm going to be having the AI do that for me, and slowly but steadily... Crafting my own navy, but that will take time. Here we are. Focus of this campaign will be fires. Setting the world on fire. Why? Because of the wrongs that have been done to my family. Now, let's have a look at what sort of situation we find ourselves in. First, globally. I am Austria-Hungary. I have pretty bad relations with English and French. Uh, I'm neutral with Italy, completely neutral, and I'm quite liking Germany. Okay, let's see, 33 ships for me, 54 for the Germans, 82 for the Brits, okay, and a whole bunch for the French at 50. Interesting. GDP growth seems to be fairly steady for everybody, and um, as you can see, the Italians have a slightly smaller naval budget than myself. The rest of the nations have more. Uh, sorry, no. The French have less naval budget. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, I wonder how they're fielding that fleet then. When it comes to tech, how are we doing? What are we looking at? We're researching Krip Armor 3. Okay. When it comes to design, um, we have... Yeah, this is not that special... Rangefinders, stereoscopics. I'm not going to be using stereoscopics, I'm going to be using coincidence. And the whole focus of this campaign is fires with short barrels. So I need to be able to close into the enemy uh, and pummel them from close. Because the short barrels generally lack a lot of accuracy. So research priorities for this campaign will be engines and small guns. The better I can get my small guns, the better it will be. I have the Mark IIs of the 8, 7 and 6 inch and I'm working on the Mark III 3 inch. Alright, very good. Finances. I have 26 million a month uh, in excess. Let's start building a better shipyard for starters. And let's see what sort of ships I have. I have 10 battleships, one battlecruiser, 17 heavies, four lights and four DDs. Okay, we're gonna up the crew training to about 75%. And this way my crew will be more effective. Let's up the tech budget a bit. And definitely up the transport budget, because I want to make sure that my ships do well, that my economy does well, and that my research progresses. All right, let's have a look at the ships. What sort of ships do I have? I got a whole bunch of these battleships. Let's have a look at that design first. I'm probably going to go for refitting right away, because I am now the Admiral of this Navy. I am the Commander-in-Chief. Uh, well, the Commander of Naval Operations, the CNO. And I want to make sure that these ships are up to my specs. So, let's have a look at the refit. 
What are we dealing with? 11.6 inch guns. Okay. They are firing every 31 seconds. Range of 16 kilometers with HE. But the whole campaign is pretty much going to revolve around HE. So don't expect to be uh, throwing around any high-end AP shells. Okay, we have coal. We can upgrade to semi-oil. We have turbines. That's the best engine I got. Uh, let's preferably go with some better armor. Definitely go with some better torpedo protection. Double hull bottom is fine for now. Anti-flood to reinforce bulkheads, please. Uh, upgrade these bulkheads to max, because we're going to go close in with the enemy. And in order to do that, I'll need to make sure that I survive that long. That would be very nice. Okay. When it comes to rangers, we're going to go with Quinston Rangefinders. Actually, do I even want battleships in this campaign? No, I do not. I do not want battleships. I'm going to scrap all the battleships. I'm going to scrap all the battleships. Because I want to be focusing on smaller ships. Scrap the battlecruiser as well. We're going to be doing nothing bigger than a heavy cruiser this game. This campaign. Nothing bigger than a heavy cruiser. So this should have probably freed up a lot of money. As well as a ton of crew. Now, um, delete this design. I don't want this. I don't want the battlecruiser. Let's start at the bottom. The Velibit class light, uh, well, not light, the Velibit class destroyer. What are you armed with? Yes, that will not do. This is a destroyer that seems to be focused more around torpedoes than anything else. They do carry guns, 4.1, 4.1. Uh, these are definitely short barrels, so expect virtually no accuracy from these things. And the torpedoes are going to have to go. That's pretty easy. 30 knots, I like that. We're going to upgrade this to maximum bulkheads. Don't leave home without that. I don't like having a destroyer with more beam. Uh, that's a bit odd. That's a bit odd. Okay, ship is overweight, yes. Allow me to resolve that. Do we really need all these funnels? Yes, we do. Okay. Then, guns, more guns. Electrohydraulic turrets, enhanced autoloaders, yes. I want picric acid because it gives me more chance to burn. I want to go with heavy shells because it gives me more chance to burn. When it comes to uh, propellant, shell pen is not that important. Shell damage is very good. Nickel steel? Right. No, I don't think so. We're going to upgrade this to turbines. I'm going to give them semi oil. I'm going to give them. Oh, actually. Force boilers. This saves me quite a bit of weight. And for a destroyer, a couple hundred or about a hundred tons can give you quite a few guns that you can add. That's nice. Now at this rate I'm pretty much turning into a whole new ship. So we're just going to go with a new ship, essentially. But I'm going to overhaul the ships that I have and potentially design some new ships later. Too far from previous place. I want to add new guns. That's the deal. Barbettes? Not invented. Okay. Um, this... Let's see... This ship is going to go with fairly short range. So we're going to harass the enemy at short range and hope that they don't instantly kill me. That means 4 inch guns. And... Well, if I go 3 inch... I can fire every 4 seconds. Oh, this is a 3.5 inch gun. Why? Why would I want to have a three and a half inch gun? No. This fires every 3.4 seconds. Yes, please. Too far away from last position. There wasn't a last position for these guns in the first place, so... Let's not be silly about this, right? Hmm. Bit of a four-way offset issue. That's better. Reload or relocate the torpedoes. Oh, I think the refit's going to be absolutely dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. These are long barrel guns, though. No, 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 no. If I make these all minus 10% length, their accuracy is going to be utter dog shit, but they reload in two and a half seconds. That's nice. 
That's what I like to see. Very, very fast reloads. Okay, reinforced bulkheads one, yes, anti flood check, crypt fine, standard quarters. Speed, 30 knots. Very good. Let's upgrade the armor on this thing. And when it comes to the conning tower, I would like more. Sadly, we're not going to be able to armor up the turrets. Because that starts at 5 inch, I believe. And it's going to be a small guns, mostly campaign. If you want to go big guns, be sure to check out the other campaign that I did. 3.9 seconds HE45, 3.9 seconds HE28. Yeah, okay. This will have to do. She's a bit bow heavy. Her pitch and roll are god awful, but so be it. That's the refit of the Velibit. Then we have the Kufstein light cruisers. Oh, these have potential. These have potential. These say I'm going to shoot you with every gun I have. That's what I like. Okay, maximum bulkheads. Check. Um, draft is fine. Spacious quarters is a bit rich, but otherwise okay. They got Harvey. We're going to upgrade that. Reinforced bulkheads. Anti-flood. Double that. Citadel. Yes. Picric acid. Yes. Cordite. Um, no, I don't care about that. I'm going to go max HE. I didn't check that on the DD. Enhanced reloading. Yes. Electrohydraulic turrets. Yes. Okay. What sort of guns you got? 5.2s. Where? Supposedly I got 5 inch guns somewhere, but... Just the two of them. Where did you... Okay. Oh, here's one. And there's the other one. Right. That's cute, but that's a bit big for what I like. We're gonna go with something smaller. We got three inch guns all around. What? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There. Minus 20% length. Reloads in three and a half seconds. Accuracy, god awful. Let's see if I can use all of this displacement to add more armor. So let's say three inches of superstructure armor. Uh, give me five inches of main belt, five inches of aft belt. And when it comes to speed, speed can be life on these things. It can also be a bit difficult to work with. Fine, 27.5? 27.5 it is. No, actually 28, it was still updating. Yes, there we go, 28. 28 is fine. I'm not going to adjust beam and draft at the moment. Double hull bottom is one ton too heavy. So let's steal a ton somewhere. These things are a bit stern heavy. Let's add more belt armor. Four belt, that is. Nope. Hmm. Not a very big fan of these ships. Let's hope they perform, and otherwise we'll just have to adapt and overcome. Okay, and then finally, the heavy cruiser. The Sebenico class. That's a massive barbette for the type of gun you got there. What is that? Is that a six? Yeah, it's a six. Six inch gun. They have another 1.4 inch long barrel behind it. Okay. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Casemates. Yes. Right. So we're going to take a salt to the guns, and we're going to say, nope, that's minus 20. Minus 20. Minus 20. And minus, come on, minus 20. There. Okay, that is a good start. Armor-wise, pretty heavily armored. This is good. They're going to need a better rangefinder. They're going to need better reload. They're going to need better turret rotation, but I cannot afford that. We're going to go with max HE. Heavy shells. Uh, yes, yes. Don't care about this. Antitorp 3. Very nice. Very nice. Maximum bulkheads. Yes, look at you. I don't care about all this range. I don't have to go quite that far. Poor weight offset is a bit of an issue. It's 14%. I still have some tonnage available, so let's try and put some more on the aft belt. 
there. When it comes to these guns, their positions are okay. This one doesn't turn very well, it seems. This one just looks ridiculous on the tall superimposed barbette. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't think I can get to 28 knots. No. 27.5 it is. Okay, extra armor. Always extra armor. 3 inch on the superstructure. Uh, 12 inch on the con... No. Okay, maybe not 12 inch on the conning tower. 10 inch on the conning tower? No. Nope. Bit heavy. Reduced main deck armor. There we go. Engine efficiency is only 70%. That's with forced? Really? That's the big funnel. Big funnel 2. I cannot add anything bigger. Okay. Very good. So be it. Mm. I'm not really sure what else to put armor into. Just maybe the guns then. Give me two inches of top armor there, two inches of top armor there. I want these just to be six inches. And these can be two inches, that's fine. Two. You're going to be one, you're going to be zero. Okay. So we have our casemates. These puny, puny little casemates, 4 inch, fire every uh, 3.6 seconds. These fire every 2 seconds. Wow. I have an interesting idea for a destroyer all of a sudden. I'm going to keep the displacement as is. I know I'm not completely maxed out, and that's fine. Right, we're going to overhaul every single ship we have. Every single DD. Every single light cruiser. This is probably not going to be very expensive either. Because they don't have that many ships. Refit. Also, having a smaller slash no navy is kind of useful. Because it means you don't really cause a lot of friction with the enemy. It's two months. Oh, we still had a surviving battleship. Go away. We're building heavy cruisers Tiger, Kaiser Karl VI, and Klagenfurt. No, we're not. Denied. Right. What do I have? I have 11 million. I have 145 million in storages. Let's go and design my own ship. I need the Firestarter DD. Large torpedo boats. Yes. Wildfang. Firestarter. Speed. All of it. Range. None of it. My first enemy will be the Italians. And in order to deal with the Italians, you really don't need any range. It's really not important to get range. What I do need on this ship is speed. Firepower, and ideally something cheap. Now, interestingly, normally I would go for the advanced tower um, because it gives me long range accuracy, but in this case, I don't really have to because it is heavier and I don't need long range accuracy because long range accuracy on these ships will not be a factor. The same thing can be said for the rear tower. Of course, we're going to need one torpedo launcher, otherwise, the game will not be happy. We're going to go with a big dual funnel. 80%, I would very much appreciate more. Minimum draft, so I'm a small target. Uh, minimum beam as well. And we're going to need at least one main gun, which can be as small as two inches. So this... Oh, I can make this a mini gun. <laughs> this thing ranges four and a half kilometers with HE. Under the current circumstances, that is. Heavy shells. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to need a lot of them. That's a good thing. Picric acid. Don't care about torpedoes. Do care about that. That. Yes. So. How many of these can I add? If the answer is anything less than yes, I'm going to be disappointed. This fires every 1.7 seconds, and that is not counting the crew. Oh, yes. After weight offset's a bit high now. There. How about that? Can I make them smaller? Yes, and thus cheaper. I'm trying to find the cutoff point here. There. 570? That's the cutoff point. Now, I still have quite a lot of displacement left. 
So I can still add, uh, for example, a better auxiliary engine. I can add a better shaft, so I can get a slightly better turning circle. When it comes to turning circle, we're looking at 305 meters. Could I make these really fast? What? <laughs> it's 1910, right? No, that's a bit much. Oh, boy. Get this into range of a convoy and it just melts. We are going to need some armor, though. So let's go with one all around. And that way I'll have at least some protection against enemy secondary firepower. Which there might be a lot of. Give me 37 knots. Wow. 37 to 38 is a big difference. Okay. So we carry... 716 shells per turret. Ooh, that's a lot of turrets. That's a lot of ammo. Does the game tell you these days how much ammo you actually carry? It tells me how many guns I have. It doesn't tell me how much ammo I carry. Okay. So, 15 guns. 15 guns. Times. 716 shells. This thing carries 10,740 shells. That ought to be sufficient for one battle. Let's go. That's the fire starter class. Next. We're gonna need a light cruiser. Do I have an interesting light cruiser hull? The semi-armored cruiser is the one that really resembles a heavy cruiser. Light cruiser 4. This might have options. Light cruiser 3. Oh. Hello, hello. You, I like. Minimum beam. Make sure I don't need to use enough or I don't need to use too much engine power. Turbines. Um, oil. Mm, maybe induced boilers. Box one. Better steering. This is going to be a fun campaign. Let's start with the end in mind. Uh, three inch... Three inch there, five inch there. Okay, so that's a good start. Cramped quarters, no thank you. Don't care about range. Main tower, something small. Secondary tower, something awful. Then, I need a funnel. That's terrible. Holy shit, that's terrible. What's your f hull form? 79. What's still bow? 32? Whoa. 70 resistance. 25 resistance. <laughs> this thing is a cannon. A glass cannon. Okay, fine. All the funnels. Jesus, with three of these massive funnels, I'm still pretty bad. Do you think that's enough rangefinders for one ship? Hmm. Okay, so um, over here I got 151 tons. Six uh, funnel cap. This is... Ooh. No. There you go. All the funnels. All the funnels. So, what's your job then? Well, I'm gonna give you a 5-inch uh, gun. But a lot of them. We're gonna first set these things up to minus 10% barrel length, slightly smaller. And if I put them over there, I can have more of them. No, nope, that doesn't quite work, because I reduced the beam. Normally this would probably fit. Or bets. Oh! Yes, please. <laughs> Evil designs. Evil designs, I love it. Let's go. I want more. What? Oh, you don't have a mount over there? You think that's normal? Fine. Be like that. Some guns have a poor field of fire. Oh. Huh. But I like these things here. Do I need to go with a, s a four? Like something a bit smaller? Because I really like this setup. No, go away. 
Can I mount three inches along the side of this thing? Oh god, yes. Okay. This has potential. This has a lot of potential. Um, yes! More potential. Potential is the name of the game here. Look at this guy. Oh, come on. Give me a double four there, another four over there. Fields of fire are gonna leave something to be desired, but that's fine. Okay, minus 10. Minus 10. Or actually, no, this is gonna be a minus 20. There. Very short barrel, three inches. Firing every two and a half seconds. So that means that the rest of this is probably gonna go into gear that makes the guns better and make sure that the ship actually gets into range. Increased shell complement, please. Uh, barbettes would probably be a good idea, yeah. I agree. I could reduce the draft, make this a fairly small target. Also saves me a bit of money there. So we're going from 6 million to 7 million. Hmm. And we're getting better engine efficiency while we're at it. So we're a smaller target, we get better engine efficiency, and we get a cheaper ship. That's very good. Give me 8 inches... What? That fits? Wow. Okay. If that fits, then... Perfect. Perfect! I can max out armor. <laughs> Cannot have more than that. Okay, fine. 5 inch main deck. Is a bit heavy. Three inch main deck. When it comes to the turrets, we're really not going to have a lot of armor on these things. That is a problem. If I make these, yes. If I make them 4.6 inch, you can actually add armor to them. Which is nice. Even one and a half inches of armor means that the destroyer will not blow them up. Does the same work for three inches? No, it does not. Okay, so these are just going to have their 3-inch guns destroyed all the time. Unfortunate, but so be it. The ship is now a bit stern-heavy. Pull that gun off. And I'm mm, slightly over tonnage. Not that bad. Let's take some off here. Five two is that feasible? No. Five one, done. Right. Ember class light cruiser. That means I only need a heavy cruiser class of my own making. We have a few options. We got the large armored cruiser, armored cruiser five, armored cruiser three, or armored cruiser two. This thing says I'm gonna torch you. Oh, yes. How big can you put the gun? Oh, only two inches. That's fine. There. That's a nice start. I thought Gowings were extinct, but apparently they're not. Let's make it 25 knots. Don't care about the range. Crowned quarters, no. Uh, less beam. Less draft. I'm going to try and keep these things fairly simple because they're going to be numerous. They're not going to survive for very long. Which is kind of sad, because I tend to wrap stories around these ships. And if you don't have a ship that survives for very long, then, wow, that is a bit sad. Uh, pick rig. There. Okay, we need a main tower. Let's give this thing... Let's give this thing a better tower than usual, because I'm expecting to be spotting stuff with this cruiser. Rear tower, give them an auxiliary engine. Uh, wait, do these things displace? They displace less than my light cruiser. That's interesting. Okay, funnel-wise, huge with boats. Yeah, so we can board the target after we burned it down. Is that, oh, 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 no, 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 no. If we go with... Yeah, that's enough engine efficiency. Main guns. The center line, six inches seem fine. Oh, hold on. Please tell me that fits. 
Yes! It won't turn. That's for sure. No. It's unfortunate. Um, give me a six-inch dual barrel. And we're gonna have another one on the stern. Okay. I like this. I'm gonna saw off these things. Actually... I do quite like having them as two-inch guns. I'm gonna need um, a very good turning circle on these. So, unbalanced rudder. Speed, turning circle 291. That's good enough. That's good enough. Give me a radar. Sorry, radio. How much armor can you put on these? Holy shit. That's a lot. Okay. Um, that's plus 100% armor quality. Make it seven inch there, four inch, seven, seven. Make this six. Make the guns heavily protected. Oh. <laughs> Proceeds to add like one inch, 0 0.1 inch even. Okay. Um, damn, I still got a lot of displacement left. Can I speed this thing up? Because we're gonna need to get into range somehow. Yeah. Engine efficiency just tanked. Kind of as expected. Run. Sit. Still a four-way though, sir, huh? There. Push this one slightly farther back. What is making this stern so heavy? Or this bow so heavy? Because I have guns on both sides. Let's try and make those 360 turrets. That'd be nice. There. That'll turn 360 degrees. I'm gonna do the same thing for the bow. Ooh, that might be tricky. Let's hope this thing turns. Let's hope it turns. Okay, what else do I need? This thing is a massive tank. Let's make it better. Give me eight inches of main belt armor and give me more superstructure armor. Six and a half is fine. Okay, this is not the Spalato, this is the Spanish Galleon. The Spanish Galleon class, I mean, what's not to like? How many do we carry? Shells, 530? How many of those things do I have? 32? That's 16,690, sorry, 960 shells. That should last me a while, let's do it. Okay. You thought my previous designs were bad. No, these are better. So we got a destroyer pricing 1.8 million. We got a light cruiser pricing 7.5 million. And then a heavy cruiser pricing 9.5. Let's get the mainstay of the fleet, which will be 15 destroyers. Money, perfectly fine. Let's go with the uh, Ember class. We have 15 of those. Give me the Spanish Galleons. I'll take also 15 of those. That should push me negative, but that's fine. I can always save some on crew training because, let's face it, the crew doesn't... Oh. Research then. That's fine. I got enough to last a while. What do the Italians have? A battleship. They have a battleship, a battle cruiser, a light cruiser, a heavy, a light, a DD, DD, CLs, BB... I can't wait to take on these battleships. That's going to be fantastic. Are the Italians annoyed by anybody? No, they like everybody. If the Italians go to war with the French, that'd be great for me, because then I can take out my frustrations with the Italians fairly quickly. So we are refitting 22 ships. We're building another 45. This is 1910, so it's pretty early game. I'm going to leave you guys here. Episode 2 coming up soon. And I am very eager to see how these ships will perform. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed the new campaign. It's going to be something very different from the last one, the German campaign. And, uh, well, let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you soon.